welcome, class. <laughs> Remember when your teacher, teacher used to address you as class? In that case, she was referring to a group of students, right? But the noun class has other meanings. And today, we're going to talk about something called class labeling. This is another video tutorial that will address a practical matter that will affect your management of menopause. I think you're realizing that there's so much more to menopause management than you ever imagined, right? And many of the things you need to know are not going to be in any book. If you have even a minute interest in the mere possibility of ever using any kind of hormonal product for any aspect of your menopause, whether it's pharmaceutical, compounded, bioidentical, non-bioidentical, or over-the-counter, you need to watch this video. I'm going to reveal facts that will really have you scratching your head. So let's start this discussion on class labeling by defining the word class. A class is a group of things that constitute a group because of their common features. For purposes of our topic today, the class is going to be all hormonal medications. So all the hormones from menopause belong to this class. So what's class labeling? Class labeling is when all the drugs in the class have the same information about risks on the label. It's that simple. If the drug is a hormone, it has to have a warning about the risks of hormones on its label. So what are the risks of hormone medications? Well, they're the same risks of the hormones that were originally in your body. <laughs> Heart disease, stroke, blood clots, and cancer. Did you ever stop to think about the risks your own hormones in your body carry? Do you know what the biggest risk of all is? It's pregnancy. Pregnancy carries the highest risk women ever face. So all hormones have some risk. And you need to think of risk as a possibility, not an inevitability. And class labeling uses this simple principle in requiring that all hormone medications be labeled identically with regard to these risks. Some people refer to these warnings, these class labels as black box warnings. They are all the things that could happen, no matter how slight the risk. The problem with class labeling or black box warnings is that they are terms and practices unique to the FDA, which is the Food and Drug Administration. So class labeling is something that only the FDA does. And only the FDA puts black box warnings on drugs. So let me paint out a common scenario. You go to your doctor to address your menopause management. You tell the doctor that you have severe symptoms of menopause and that you want HRT. And you add that you're at high risk for osteoporosis, so you want a high enough dosage to meet the requirements of the estrogen window of opportunity to prevent osteoporosis too. So your doctor reviews your medical history, checks your weight, sees that you're a non-smoker, and decides that your risks for HRT are minimal. She tells you that the HRT will be more beneficial for you than risky. And she gives you a prescription. So you skip off to the pharmacy, fill the prescription, and feel absolutely victorious. But then you get home. And you open the package. 
and you find this. All of this. All of this. It says that this medication can cause heart disease, stroke, blood clots, and cancer. And you're shocked. Well, of course, you know your own hormones can cause all those things. All hormones can cause all those things. They're possibilities, not inevitabilities. But you're shocked because of this. You think, why didn't my doctor tell me this? You feel betrayed. You decide not to take the HRT after all. And you tell your girlfriends that your doctor tried to kill you. Here's what really happened. Knowing about these possible risks associated with all hormones, your doctor assessed your personal risks and determined that your personal risks for these things are very low. So you see, the name of the game with menopause is to tailor all the facts to you. It is a balancing act. You have to weigh the benefits against the risks as they apply to you. <laughs> the FDA puts these class labels and black box warnings on all drugs that fall into the class of hormones. It doesn't matter what brand or what dosage, or what type of hormone, or what form, whether it's a pill, patch, cream, etc. And get this, it doesn't even matter if that particular product has absolutely none of these risks. So the FDA is essentially going overboard. They're erring on the side of exaggerating the risks rather than minimizing the risks. Menopause specialists are very frustrated with this class labeling and the black box warning requirement. It's gotten out of hand and it has become overkill, if you will. Do you remember way back in videos 33 and 84 when I taught you that vaginal estrogen creams do not travel throughout your body, but instead they stay confined to your vagina? So these products these vaginal estrogen creams, they do not go anywhere outside of your vagina. And that because they don't circulate throughout your body, they do not provide any of the benefits of the estrogen window in preventing the diseases associated with menopause, right? Well, estrogen vaginal creams have none of the risks of the class labeling or black box warnings. They do not and cannot cause heart disease, stroke, blood clots, or cancer. All they do is alleviate your vaginal dryness. Now, because they carry none of these risks, you wouldn't expect them to have a label, a class label, or black box warning alarming you about those risks, right? But guess what? It's all the same stuff. Both of these have these great, big, thick lists of risks in the package. They're part of the class of drugs that are hormones. So even though they have none of these risks, they have all the same warnings. Okay, so they have the same thing. It's misleading, it scares you. This black box warning class labeling requirement began in 2003, a year after the findings of the Women's Health Initiative study were revealed. That was when everyone was in a frenzy over hormones, even though the reports had been misinterpreted. 10 years later, in 2013, when enough re-evaluation had been done to realize that the risks were not as originally reported, the menopause experts approached the FDA to get the warnings revised. 
In particular, they wanted the warning to be removed from estrogen vaginal creams that don't carry any of those risks. Sounds reasonable, doesn't it? Well, to this day, the FDA has refused to budge on it. So if you get any kind of estrogen vaginal cream, it will still have all these warnings that scare you to death, even though they are absolutely inaccurate. So with the FDA, it's overkill. Now, let's contrast this with compounded HRT. Do you recall in videos, let's see, 23, 32, 37, and 84, in which I talked about bioidentical hormones? You learned that many of the pharmaceutical HRT products are actually bioidentical. So all the bioidentical HRT products that are made by pharmaceutical companies are approved by the FDA. And because they're approved by the FDA, that means they all carry these black box warning class labeling literature packets because they fall into the class of drugs that are hormones. But what about when you get your HRT that's bioidentical from a compounding pharmacy? With compounded hormones, you essentially get the same hormones. They look more like this, right? But you don't get any of the literature. No list of risks, no class labeling, no black box warnings, nothing. Does that mean they're safer? Does that mean that they have none of the risks of the pharmaceutical HRT? No, they have all the same risks. <laughs> the difference is that they're regulated by a different industry with completely different standards. Compounded hormones are not approved by the FDA. They only have to adhere to the regulatory standards for foods. So you have nothing to scare you, but you also have nothing to divulge the possible risks. They can still cause heart disease, stroke, blood clots, and cancer. But there's no regulatory requirement for the makers of compounded hormones to tell you that. So you have two different industries with completely different standards. The FDA goes overboard and labels all hormones so harshly that it scares you to death. The compounding industry is silent and provides no warnings at all, making you assume there's no harm. So which is better? Which one appeals more to you? I believe that they should both just have to tell you the truth. I mean, the truth is always the best option. If you received the truth, you would know that all hormones, whether produced by your own body, a pharmaceutical company or a compounding pharmacy have risks. You would know that for the vast majority of women, the benefits of hormones greatly outweigh the risks. You would know that the risks exist only for those hormones that circulate throughout your body. And you would know that those are the only ones that can prevent any of the diseases associated with menopause. And you would know that estrogens that are designed specifically for vaginal dryness only, that do not circulate throughout your body, do not carry these risks. That's the truth. And if all hormone products were required to divulge the truth, we'd all be better off. <laughs> you see, understanding this significant difference between the two industries is critical to your menopause management. Which one you prefer is entirely up to you, but not knowing the difference, that's just plain unfair. So I teach you these things so that you understand the nuances and the things that no one is going to teach you in a book. And really, there's no other way for you to learn this stuff because no one's really comparing the two industries. I don't like the words good, bad, right, wrong, better, worse. 
I don't think those words apply. I think everything has advantages and disadvantages, and this is the kind of thing that helps you understand that. So with that, I will stop for today, and I will see you next week, and you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter in the meantime. Go to my website. I have all kinds of goodies there for you, articles, things you can sign up for and register for. It's menopausetaylor.me. I hope you visit. Bye.